Okay, I have all my main components together. A steel barrel, a bit of fire cement, perlit dry fill insulation and a burner that I never use. I found this old herbicide sprayer and I'm gonna use this to mold the inside of the furnace. You don't have one of these lying around, just use a bucket. Now when I'm pouring the mixture into the furnace, I'll have to hold this in place somehow and that's why I'm gonna bolt it to this piece of wood. For molding the inlet I'm just going to use this empty cartridge. And now I'm just going to eyeball where this hole has to go. And I'm going to use construction adhesive to glue this in place. So as you can see this inlet enters the inner chamber tangentially so that the hot gases are going to spin their way up around the crucible. That perlite stuff is really lightweight and really fluffy so that should properly insulate this furnace. Now the cement I use is ceramically and hydraulically hardening which means it should cure to a certain degree after being mixed with water and then when the furnace will reach a certain temperature approximately 800 degrees celsius it will fully harden. Now this furnace will reach that kind of temperature only on the inside but I think that will be okay. Man, this is tough, but I think I know how I'll be able to get it out of there. Now I'm having the furnace run at a low flame and that will hopefully drive out all the moisture. I can kind of feel it condensing on my hands. Okay, let's see how this furnace is gonna perform. The flame shoots out of the burner directly into the chamber, so there's really no need to seal this. Now the outer surface never gets too hot to touch, which kind of confirms the insulating properties of the cement perlite mixture, which is kind of cool. What I also like is how lightweight it is. You can easily grab it by the flimsy handles of the barrel.
that's it. Works great.